today I'm going to be doing my November wrap up and my December to be read video. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This month I didn't read too much. I only read four books, although I am over halfway done with the book I'm currently reading. And so if I finish that tonight, then that will count obviously towards November. But um, the books that I have read, I actually read all at the beginning when I was on vacation and then I came back and I've just been working so I haven't really been reading all that much. But yeah, so the first book that I read um, whenever I was on vacation, I actually don't have with me because it's Robin's book, and that is A Long for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. Um, I gave that book 5 out of 5 stars, I believe. I really, really enjoyed it. That was one of the first Sarah Dessen books that I've read. Um, so I didn't really know what to expect, and I love her writing style, and I love her character development, and I just love how... Her characters are so realistic and so flawed. So yeah, that kind of got me onto a Sarah Dessen kick. So I've read, if you include the book I'm reading now, three Sarah Dessen books in November. So um, yeah, Along for the Ride was the first one. The second Sarah Dessen book, Sarah Dessen book that I read in November was That Summer, which actually, if I would have known, I would have read them in order of... In order... Ugh. in the order that they were published, but I didn't realize that. So I read Along for the Ride first, and this second, this is actually the first book that she published. But I actually really, really enjoyed this one, which is good, because this one actually has the lowest rating on Goodreads out of all of them, so I guess it's only up from here. And I think I gave this one 4 or 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it, but I can't remember what rating I gave it. But if you want to check on my Goodreads, it'll have it on there. The next book that I read is, or was, 13 Little Blue Envelopes by uh, Maureen Johnson. And this is the first Maureen Johnson book that I've ever read. And I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I did like it, but it was a little bit slow and s slow and rushed at the same time. Like, at the beginning of it, I was kind of like, meh, I didn't really care for any of the characters. And then I kind of wished that I would have been able to um, feel more in the setting while I was reading. I don't know if that makes sense. But she goes to a lot of different places in Europe and all of that and it just kind of like happened so quick that I didn't get a feel for any of the places that she was going to and I wish I could have gotten a feel for the places a little bit more. That's really my only critique, I think. Yeah, so I give this one 4 out of 5 stars and I haven't read The Last Little Blue Envelope yet but I would like to, I just don't own it as of right now. And the fourth book that I read in November was As You Wish by Jackson Pierce. It's the first Jackson Pierce book that I've read. I've tried to read Sisters Red. I tried to read it a couple months ago, but I just couldn't get into it. But I found out this was the first book that she wrote, so I decided to read this first. I did not really care for this book at all, which I know a lot of people liked it, but I only gave it two out of five stars. Um, it's, it's about a girl named Viola who feels like she doesn't belong, like her boyfriend broke up with her and so it's like, she's like she feels like she doesn't belong anywhere even though she acknowledges the fact that she knows people and people say hi to her and people are nice but she doesn't feel like she belongs and she keeps bringing that up through the whole book, how she doesn't feel like she belongs and I don't know, I, that the, just got annoying. It's like it. I don't know how to explain it, but she annoyed me. So the fact that I didn't really like the main character kind of made it difficult for me to enjoy the book. I didn't really care for Jen either, who was the genie that came to grant her three wishes. I didn't hate him or anything. I just didn't have any connection to him at all. And so apart from like the last 20 pages, which were okay, were pretty good, the rest of it just felt way short for me. All right, and so that is it for my wrap up and so I'm on to my to be read and I only have four books on my pile for next month even though I need to read a lot more to finish my 50 books but I don't know if that's actually going to happen because I just started a second job this week so I have even less time than I had before to read but yeah so I cut down my list considerably the first book that I want to read kind of gives you that Christmas feel and so I thought I should have at least one kind of Christmassy book for the month of December and that is Little Women by Louisa May. I always call, want to call her Marissa Lou. Louisa May Alcott. <laughs> um, I've never read this book, but I've seen the movie um, with Susan Sarandon and 
Winona Ryder and all of them many a times and it's one of my favorites and I love it so I know I'm going to like the story I just have not read the book yet so I'm excited to read this I've been wanting to read it for a really long time the next book I'm planning on reading I actually won off of Goodreads and that is Even Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate I have not read anything from either of these authors although I have a couple books from each of them I just haven't read them yet um yeah and it sounds interesting and it is relatively new so I am excited to get into this soon after it came out as opposed to everything else that I seem to read months and years after the release date. The next book that I would like to read is a book that I've been wanting to read for a long time. It's been on my to be read list for very long but I just got it this month so now I can read it and that is Winter Girls by Lori Halse Anderson. Um, it sounds kind of intense but that seems to be a pattern for her. I really enjoyed Speak and so I'm hoping that I will really enjoy this as well. And the last book on my list, which doesn't mean I'm not going to read more books than this, this is just my base that I'm giving, my, giving myself, is Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I know there's a movie coming out soon, I don't know when it's coming out, and I don't really know much about this plot. Um, I know it has a male narrator and witches and stuff, but I've never heard anything bad about it and everyone loves it, so I thought I would give it a try for sure, just to see how I like it, and hopefully... I'll be able to hold off on the sequels if I really love it because I don't have the money to buy them. So, yeah. <laughs> ah! Okay, so that is my November wrap-up and my December to be read video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and what you're reading next month and what you read this month. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.